Hi guys, if you are a mother, you will be familiar with this ingredient, especially if you are an Igbo woman. I'm going to be making Jim Miracle. It's mostly given to women that just give birth. That is Omugo, people that are in Omugo. So one of my favorite persons just called me that she put to bed and she's still in the hospital. The first thing that came to my mind while going to visit her was to prepare Jim Miracle for her. It's called hot water yam or you can call it pepper soup yam. So these are my ingredients. This is my uda, uziza, you have seen my dry fish and my chicken. Then this is my stock cube, my salt, my uziza leaf and this is my yam. So I'm going to wash my chicken. After washing my chicken, I wash it very well with salt. So this particular food is known for clearing off bad blood after birth. Like it helps wash out the remaining bad blood off your system after childbirth. It also enhances flat tummy. So after washing my chicken, I'm going to season my chicken with my stock cube. Then I'm going to be pounding the this is my uda it's also known as negro pepe in english so after washing my uda i'm going to wash my uziza too the uziza seed is also known as west african black pepe so i'm going to also wash it and i'm going to pound it together i will pound it to be very very smooth just like this then i'm going to scoop it out set set it aside so the next i'm going to be soaking my dry fish i will wash it thoroughly soak it in water with salt so here now my meat have been boiling the seasonings have entered inside very well so i'm going to stir it then add water the what like you have to add enough water because it's the water that you need is what the woman needs to be drinking. The woman will drink it very hot so that the remaining blood that is that that already crumped will come out, will melt and come out. Igbos will understand, Igbo women will understand. And some other tribes also use it. So I think it's a general something. So yeah, I'm going to be chopping my Uziza leaf. I'm going to chop it into tiny bits. Then after that. I'm going to be washing this my fish up so now it's soft i can remove i can debone it now then wash it very well so that the sounds will go off next i'm going to be cutting cutting and peeling my yam into any sizes i want but i normally prefer to cut it into big big sizes because the pepper soup is not meant to be tasty anyway because this negro pepper that is the uda is actually very bitter so it's just for the for good health you understand and it also helps your breast milk to flow very well after you give birth you can try it and see so here now i'm going to be adding my yam into the pepper soup to cook then i'm going to be adding the uda and uzuza that are that we already pounded so now i'm going to add salt to taste So here now I'm adding Cameroon pepper. This is actually very optional. So I'm going to just stir and stir. And what is just remaining is just for you to cook a bit. When the yam is soft, you just add your uzuza leaf and it's ready. So here now you can see the yam is soft. It can be cooking. You can see the color have changed. And it's now black because of the odor. So now I'm going to add uzuza leaf and my crayfish. Then add my washed dry fish and this pepper soup is ready. Do this for any new mom you know and the person will thank you. The person will thank you so much because it's going to help the person a lot to produce breast milk and to also to flush the system. It will help the bad blood to come out very fast. That is the bleed, the bleeding that starts after giving birth. It tends to go out very fast. 
So this is me here arranging it. I'm going to be putting inside my cooler to go and see her and the baby in the hospital. Thanks for watching. Follow for more tips.